Hi, welcome to our first episode of Book of Potential. I'm the operating system and we're gonna be checking um, this game out. Okay, so... There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so it why am I supposed I can move like this? Uh, okay, so like this, I'm choosing these spells. Okay. Those are all our spells. Okay, I suppose that I'm supposed to go over here now. Yeah, apparently I, I use some sort of currency. There we go. Let me try to break this ice pillar. No, it doesn't do anything. So basically this is how the style that you wanna play. Yeah, fire fire seems to be a very quick Good going. Still don't have any of that currency. I took a he hit of health, not sure why. This game reminds me a bit uh, of the Binding of Isaac. Just because of how it looks. Not not sure if it has any if it's level based like Isaac. Gonna take that hard. And... Hey, our first coin. So it looks like I have lower attack speed now. Back to using normal attack speed. I'm not sure if I could just farm the enemies like that by by letting them spawn infinitely. I'm liking the this uh, wind ability a lot. It's very useful. Okay, that one gives me attack speed, uh, higher attack speed. Good. 
Let's keep exploring. And I get some protection also. So, sweet. Oops. Okay, that's an extra heart. Alright, clear that room. Is that something? No. Just an obstacle. Missed all of them somehow. Okay. Cleared half of the room so far. Yeah, apparently I cannot destroy those blocks either. So. Oh, I'm also supposed to be breaking these boxes. Yeah, notice that I was dealing with one of those. There we go. And with that, we just return to the previous room and keep going. Gotta switch to fire to make do quicker damage. There we go. I wonder what's the difference between uh, fire and and rock. Because from what I saw from the first couple of shots that I did, it was very similar. New, new dungeon. I cannot return to the previous area, so let's go. Gotta try the rock. Oh, so the rock just has the ability to go through multiple enemies. It's cool, but. A bit unnecessary right now. Okay, paralyze myself. Don't get why they, there's so many down buffs in the game. Okay, let's go. And there we go. Easy room clear. And uh, knowing that there's that many uh, downgrades, I should avoid opening boxes while while there's still enemies in the room. That way, I can just spend a bit of time, not have to deal with the, the downgrade mid battle. There we go. So uh, let's go up just for exploring purposes. There we go. It okay, got a hard back. And some extra protection. It's nice.
want to avoid having enemies be spawned. Oh, so now I see what the, the mages do. I have to kill that box first. Okay, that clears this floor. No big threats here. I, I wonder if there's like a permanent uh, buff that you get from stuff like this. Okay, let's go. I can simply aim at the other side of the room. So that's a bit too easy for Okay, that's the way to the next area, so is there a way to explore the rest of the map? So I have to like just look at the mini map and hope to find my way around. I know that there was a path that I didn't take, so I wanna go back and just double check everything. Okay, that's the level. Yeah, that's it. So I, I don't really need to be going back to places that I've already explored. They give me no extra benefits. So we. Okay, so looks like we have two chests that we can collect here. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. That's a tricky room. They're making it quite a chance. There you go. So those guys take two hits. And here's... Wait, is this a boss? Yeah, this is a boss. Switch to the rock and see what I can do with this. Yeah, so this is doing a more damage, even though it's taking longer. There we go. And that's this level. Gotta try playing with this. This is a very good. Uh, 
and I'm down to my last health. Not playing very well, is now. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, that's not good. Okay, so now, now everything is take a bit less damage. And I'm out of gold also, so I have to keep that in mind. To the next area. Gonna switch back to to the fire since. The, the air is being way too slow here. There we go. Oh no. Okay, that's another room cleared. Uh, I don't like these guys. And that's... That's it. I died. You just returned me to, to the previous room. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much punishment. That mass of infamy. Yeah, I cannot hit it from the front, so I have to figure out a way to hit it from the back. Oh, so it actually restarted the whole the whole area. That's a really annoying combo to right there. The mage blocking the chasing guy. Okay. Nice to get another heart here. It's nice that there's not much punishment to to the game. That way, you can get through through it all. And I don't like this room. I don't like this room. Yeah, I have like no way to dodge him. There we go. Final. Let's not let that spawn anything else. I have no idea why else why it was spawning. Ah, oh, so close. And died again. So We'll see. If I leave. See. 
Seems like it starts me from the beginning again. Or does it continue? Yeah, it starts from the beginning. So, oh, mm. um, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you then enjoyed this game. A bit like a bit of a rogue like. So, so it's kind of fun, but it's definitely not. This is way too long of a game for my style, and since just because of how the it ends, I'm gonna call it that this will be a one-off episode. And thank you all for watching it. If you like, like and subscribe. And depending on how the success of this game goes, I might do more roguelikes, maybe doing the Binding of Isaac, since I find that when a Bit better build than this one so thank you all and see you next time